Tuqa Abdul Latif, a 25-year-old Iraqi technical graduate in prosthetics and orthotics, is transforming lives in post-war Mosul with her STEP project. After serving in the rehabilitation center for the disabled for two years, I thought I have a degree in this speciality. Why not take advantage of my degree and serve these people who do not find their needs in the government sector in the city of Mosul and are forced to travel outside the city? So I studied the step well and opened a step center with the help of my colleague Muhammad Qasam. Armed with the knowledge of how to treat walking disabilities, Tuqa and her colleagues established the center with limited resources. Bolstered by a local Iraqi TV channel and with a people-centric goal, it thrived, aiding over 50 disabled individuals in just three months. Focused on crafting prosthetic limbs, the initiative aims to aid amputees and those with disabilities filling a crucial gap in care. Two decades of war and terrorism has left Iraq with thousands of casualties. Mosul particularly so during the battle with terror group Daesh. One of those casualties was Ahmad Hashim. We made the first lower prosthesis for a person who lost his leg 10 years ago. Thank God the limp was successful, so it was a great morale boost for us because it made him leave the crutches and go back to walking. I lost my leg in 2013 in an explosion. Since then, I haven't been able to find a prosthesis that is comfortable for me to use. After I went to the step center, I could finally return to my normal life. I had visited several centers before, but I did not feel comfortable and my leg hurt. When I came to the step center, my life returned to normal. Despite challenges, including the scarcity of upper limb prosthetics, Latif's STEP project not only addresses a pressing need, but also symbolizes the resilience of Mosul's youth. Through her compassion and innovation, she's forging a brighter future for her city, one step at a time. Malik Fouda, TRT World.